Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the launch of the new Photos app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, Microsoft removed a couple of the original features that were available in the legacy version of the Photos app. And according to some comments I've seen over the last couple of months on the channel, this is also one of those features that you kind of like or you don't. And there has been a bit of criticism because Microsoft removed some basic functionality like video editing features and the slideshow maker from the new Photos app. But on the other side, the new Photos app um, for Windows also gives you features that the legacy version um, does not support. So it's a bit of give and take. But nonetheless, if you find yourself in the camp of not liking or finding the new Photos app to be of any use and benefit, and maybe preferred the old photos app just a quick video to show you how you can restore the legacy photos app on windows so um, if you have the new photos app um, what you need to do is head to your settings in settings scroll down and here you'll see photos legacy it says the prior photos app is now called photos legacy and is available to download for free in the microsoft store so you'd click on that toggle, that's going to take you directly over to the Microsoft Store for the download location for the Legacy Photos app. And obviously you just click on Get and that will download the app uh, to your device where you can then get access to some of those older features that maybe you preferred that are not available um, in the new Photos app. Now just one or two things to take note of um, if you do download the Microsoft Photos Legacy is apparently this will not show up if you install the app it won't show up um, in your searches by default because obviously Microsoft wants you to use the new photos app instead so that's something you'll have to sacrifice and the app won't the photos legacy will not get any uh, new features added to it so you're not going to get any new features rolling out to photos legacy those are all going to be made available uh, in the new photos app but i think from time to time and uh, microsoft will roll out a couple of fixes for maybe common problems to the photos legacy but you're not going to get any new features and obviously you click on get and that will download and install that to windows 10 and windows 11 and this is across the board it's the same process on windows 10 and windows 11 so that's just a quick way you can get access to the Photos Legacy app if you don't like using the new Photos app for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.